Hyacinth. I'm the Grand Poobah. We got great action to bring to you today. Johnny Greenpeace makes his debut today in the ring. Absolutely another landmark event in the environmentalist movement, Poobah. Also, we have ourselves big time one on one action in our main event. Kevin Sharp taking on one half of the old school Warriors, Chaz West. Should be a heck of a match you saw last week. Not a lot of uh, love lost between those two individuals. And don't forget, we have now reached the quarterfinals of the GCW Light Heavyweight Tournament. Let's quickly take a look at the brackets. We will see the number one seed, Nikki Strychnine, take on Billy McNeil. Ryan Ash takes on Casey Styles. Mikazi takes on Bashful Brad. And Mike Sharona takes on Diamondback Dingle. While we have the commissioner out here, Chris, this has been one great tournament so far. And that person who gets that belt right there, that's going to mean a lot. This is what it's all about. Right here, the gold. Everybody wants it. Only one man can get it. And we... And we've had some good matches so far. Now we're into the quarterfinals. This is where it gets down and dirty. And it is time to go for our first quarterfinal matchup here on GCW Wrestling. Let's take it to the icon, Brian Thompson, in the ring. Our first match this week on GCW Wrestling is set for one fall with the winner advancing to the semifinals of the GCW Live Heavyweight Championship Tournament. Currently in the ring, coming out of the closet from San Francisco, Bashful Brad. He's blowing kisses to the icon, Puba. And his opponent from Osaka, Japan, the wind of destruction, Makazi. It is time to advance to the quarterfinals of the GCW Heavyweight Tournament, the Light Heavyweight Tournament, as Mikazi takes on Bashful Brad. Mikazi, formerly of the Yamamoto Corporation, he now stands alone here. Hard to say if this is a good thing or a bad thing for Mikazi now that he no longer has the backing of the Yamamoto Corporation behind him. Puba, would it be a good thing if your paycheck was cut off? That'd make you uh, angry, wouldn't it? I'd, um, I'd have to agree with you there, Tommy. This should be a great one-on-one -on -one matchup to start things off here on GCW Television as we continue the light heavyweight tournament. Bashful Brad was impressive in his GCW debut in the, uh, in the preliminary round matchup, and now he's got a real veteran, one of the favorites to win it, Mikazi. Bashful Brad. High hip toss there by the youngster from Osaka, Japan, and Bashful Brad. Unorthodox is his style, to say the least here, as we saw a couple of weeks ago as he got the victory over Matt here in the GCW Light Heavyweight Tournament. But Mikazi definitely wanted to hold his own. He is seated fourth in this tournament and looking to make his mark here. And there's a nice maneuver there by Brad. He knows his way around the ring as well. Poobah, bashful Brad from out of the closet in San Francisco, on, California. Tommy. He was blowing kisses at the icon Come in the ring Tommy. introduction. Headlocked there by Mikazi. Works on the arm there. I tell you what, he's had a change of heart, but he's still pretty mean in there, Poobah, and bashful Brad in the ropes. Mikazi, bashful Brad. Great one-on-one -on -one light heavyweight action here on GCW Wrestling. You know, I heard Bashful Brad owns every Culture Club CD, Poobah. <laughs> Is that right? Now he and you are the only two men in North America. Tommy, I don't own such a thing. I know you have a Boy George poster in your room. Huh? I don't. Look at start. that suplex! Wound up there by Bashful Brand, hooks him up again and sends him down. Oh, that's impact, Poobah. He's crashing to the mat. He's really snapping that off. Three in a row on Mikazi. Don't forget the winner of this one takes on the winner of the Mike Sharona Diamondback Dingo quarterfinal matchup here. And that action you will see in the next coming weeks here on GCW Wrestling. Bashful Brand up top. Oh, whoa! Oh. He missed that Sintom bomb. Man. That hurt. If he hit that, it's over. But Mikazi had enough presence of mind to get out of the way. And now the tide has turned in this one. A momentum shift with the high-risk maneuver missing. Mikazi setting him up. Look out. Sets uh -oh, him this up. This could be it, Puba. Fisherman suplex there. Count of two. And no, oh, only a count of two. He got that shoulder blade up. Not an enthusiastic kick out there. As I think that one kind of shook Brad up a little bit. But he got the point of the blade of the shoulder off the mat. And that's all he needs to do, Puba. Look out. What's going on here? Mikazi scaling up to the top turnbuckle. Look out. Up and down. Oh, my gosh. Brad. Wow. Did you see how high he got with that one, Puba? Mikazi still has that sadistic streak here in GCW here on There's Bashful no padding Brad. out there, Puba. This, there's, that's the cold concrete floor. That is tough. That is mean. Mikazi definitely making a statement here in the GCW Light Heavyweight Tournament. Now look at Bashful Brad. Look at his boots, Puba. Are those legal? I don't know. 
Hard to say. Mikazi into the turnbuckle. Brad follows up and a big clothesline in the corner there. And Mikazi, oh, caught oh. by the standing drop kick. How about that, Pooba? I think he might have a chance to get the win. Counter two, and Mikazi hangs onto the ropes there. He got in the ropes, Pooba, and Brad had him, had him locked up. Could have gotten the win, but he was too close to the ring ropes. Mikazi, a veteran, knew where he was. A couple of stomps there by Bashful Brad and dropped down the leg. It wasn't pretty, but it was effective. Whoa. Right on the right on the jaw and Mikazi shaken up by that one. Brad using the ropes for leverage as he gets that chin lock and that sleeper hold in there, Pooba. Front face lock here by Bashful Brad. CJ McManus giving close look here. And might want to watch out as Bashful Brad is using the ropes for leverage. They're really tied up in the ropes here, Tommy. And Mikazi escapes and gets the reversal. Arm bar reversal there by the man from Osaka, Japan. Nicely done and a good textbook maneuver. Well, we saw that Mikazi's not afraid of the high flying as he went outside the ring there. He also a good mat wrestler to reverse that move and escape that submission style maneuver. Nice job by Mikazi. Ties up that arm once again against the ropes. Goes Bashful Brad and he caught a reverse knife edge there by Mikazi. Hook of the leg too and only a count of two. He got the point of the elbow right there under the chin, Pooba, and that, that'll knock you out. I think Bashful Brad's a little woozy, but he's a tough guy. He keeps fighting. Uppercut there by Bashful Brad into the corner goes Mikazi. Oh, and look at this here. Bashful Brad, boot wow. right to the face of Mikazi. Bashful Brad breaks up just before the count of five, but there's a couple of illegal shots right to the ribs. Ooh, another big shoulder block there. Going to work there on Mikazi. Brad was impressive in his debut, and he's impressive here, Poopa, against one of the favorites in this tournament. Into the turnbuckles, Irish rip reverse and followed up with the clothesline. Bashful Brad, ooh, oh. big chop in the corner. Man, that, you can hear that one up in the rafters, Poopa, and they're jammed up into the rafters here. Ooh, another reverse knife edge there by Mikazi. Still has the sadistic streak here in GCW. Look out. What's he going to do here, Poopa? What's coming up here? Wow! Oh. That was impressive by Mikazi, and look out, he's going up to the top rope. This look, is his finisher, Puba. Look out, Tommy Mikazi, sensing victory here in GCW. Guillotine leg drop, it's over, Puba. Two and three. Mikazi will advance in the GCW Light Heavyweight Tournament with the victory over Bashful Brad. Mikazi advances to the semifinals. Absolutely, Mikazi moves into the semifinals. One of the final four, but I'll tell you this. I, I like what I've seen of Bashful Brad so far. He's going to make an impact down the road in GCW. More action here on GCW in just a second. Wrestling fans, don't forget GCW in action. Very busy month of October. On October 27th, we will be back in DeSoto at the Knights of Columbus Hall on Friday night, October 27th. And then again on Friday, October 28th at the Dry Ice Arena in Wright City. 8 o'clock starting time for both those cards there for GCW Wrestling. Check out the website, gatewaywrestling.com, for more information. At this time, I would like to bring out the wrestler who is the number one seed in the GCW Light Heavyweight Tournament at this time, Nikki Strychnine. If you would come and join us here at ringside. Nikki, definitely impressive the last couple of months here in GCW, well earning as far as I'm concerned at the number one seed here in Shut Your Mouth Puba and listen up because someone important is speaking. DeSoto, Missouri, you miserable, sickening little blight of a town. On October 27th, Nikki Strychnine is coming and he's going to bring with him GCW. Yes, yes, that's right. The Toxic Titan will deliver you from your miserable, wretched little lives. Yes, the Poison Prince, the Ayatollah of Ebola, will visit you. And I promise you, my toxicity will burn away all your miserable gun racks, all your wretched little Marlboro t-shirts, all your mullet hairdos, all you little trailer shakers with your Def Leppard concert t-shirts and your teased hair. And when I am through, when hatred walking leaves your town, I promise you it will be as happy in a place as Times Beach. Back to your piece of crap show. Nikki, enough. More GCW action here in just a second. 